Yes guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for UL, we're back again and what we're doing this time round is I've got a 2010 Audi A3 here It's a diesel one this one, but I think it's exactly the same on the petrol ones or the diesel ones, they're pretty much the same um, Another thing is, uh, while I'm here, I, I, I might as well say this because uh, we've not, I've not been posting videos because of the uh, Covid and everything We're in lockdown, hardly any jobs in the garage, not busy, so uh, yeah, what we're doing is I'm going to change the front wishbone, front wishbone rear bushes. Okay, this one here, this one, it's going to make it out of there. I'm going to change that one. The thing is, you don't need to go ahead and change the complete wishbone, right? Complete suspension arm. You don't need to go and change that. If you do change that, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes you need to get the wheel aligned, the uh, tracking uh, gets misaligned and everything. So best thing to do is just change the bushes. Dead easy job. I would recommend that actually. Uh, then you know everything is original, the car is original, wishbone's original, yeah, let's do it. Right guys, there's two ways to do this, okay, there's the wishbone in all its glory. Either you can take the complete wishbone off, replace the rear bush, or what you could do is slightly harder, but I would say it's more efficient and more quicker, is we just take the back bush off. For that, I think you'll need two people, right? If you're doing it on the floor, I would recommend you just take, take the full arm off. Happy days, to take the full arm off, you take them three off. Take one bolt off here, and these here, one, two, three. But I'm not gonna go do it that way. I'm gonna do it the harder way, which I think is the easier way for my money. What I'm gonna do is, all I'm gonna do is gonna take this 16 off, take that 16 off, that 18 off bolt that is and uh, get my brother to bar it down for me or I'm gonna bar it down and then basically we're just gonna uh, bang that off take that off and we'll go from there there we have it we've got them three off one two and three off what I'm gonna do now is plenty of oil onto the shaft here Plenty of oil from the inside as well. All right, guys, we've got plenty of oil on there, as you can see there. Right, the next job for us is we're gonna we need to lever this wishbone down. Okay, so two ways to do it: uh, either you uh, get somebody to lever it down with you, or you lever it down and then get something like jam it up kind of thing. But what I'm gonna do is easiest way: big jack handle through there okay as you can see there and all you do is one person to lever it like that and the arm will come down can you see there right and the other person takes the uh, bush off that's the easiest way uh, if you if you're doing it by yourself then obviously when you lever it down like that try to get something on the top so it holds the uh, wishbone down and we can just go ahead and take that um, bush off right so there we have it guys it's barred down all the way there as you can see there We've got a gap there. All we do now is we twist it. I can't do this one, one hand, I'm just gonna explain it. We're gonna twist it all the way, full way, full full lock basically, full turn, right? Twist it all the way and then we'll just that will just fly straight out. Right, there we have it guys. The bush is totally off. Like I mentioned, all you do is somebody to bar it down for you, pry it down for you, so the wishbone will come, will come down, yeah? So all you do is you turn it full turn, either direction you'll, you'll you'll see it when you get to it you can't turn it this way because it hits that you turn the other direction full turn plenty of oil once it goes full turn then you can just pull it straight out so it's here on the floor now so what we're going to do is there's two ways to do this one as well i mentioned it in my other videos as well check that video out um the thing is you can either go buy the full lot with the aluminium casing aluminium uh, you know uh, uh, the aluminium casing and the bush everything built in together or you can just buy the bush which comes like that yeah as you can see aluminium doesn't really rust or anything that much yeah um, it's all good the casing is good all we do is push that bush out press that bush out put the new one in happy days job done that's what I would recommend if you want to if you haven't got a press you can buy it like this complete with the uh, bush and everything built in 
if you haven't got a press you might as well just do that might be a little bit more dearer a bit more expensive uh, but yeah you can do that or you can just do it this way either way exactly the same on the actual bush itself the way you're going to fit it obviously take it out it only comes out one way uh, so it mo most likely on this one it will come out this way downwards right so what, what it is on the bush there you can see there's a little raised a bit here okay make sure you have that in the right place sometimes it can be facing down sometimes this way whichever way that one is you put your bush as well the same way so as you can see that one's facing that way i'm going to put it that way as well and all we do is put it on there make sure it's lined up if you haven't got a press like i mentioned you can buy it with the uh, aluminium case and everything no problem put the socket on there and all we do now is just press that down hopefully it should fly straight out right there we have it guys there's the old bush the reason we're changing it is obviously it's, it's torn you can't really see it but when you uh, pry it and uh, do the play on it you can see it starting to go on the edges here on this side as well if you can just make it out there torn there as well just just on this side as well right so that's why we're changing it to so get the new one in exactly same way just in reverse order put it there as you can see that contraction I've made the aluminium casings there I put a plate underneath it plate on top so it's nice and level and flat plate plate on top so it's nice and level and flat all we do is press that down on it and hopefully that should go straight down into the aluminium casing job done let's go Right guys there we have it bush is on it's on there on there what i'm gonna do now is give that aluminium you don't have to really but i'm gonna give it a little clean out uh once you clean them out they look really really nice so uh just give it a clean out and just uh, refit it in reverse order exactly the same get somebody to bar it down for me and i'm just gonna bang that one back on the way it came off and that's it let's do it home stretch all right guys there we have it we've got the bush back on with the aluminium casing that is obviously you have to put it on with the aluminium casing we've got the bolt back on make sure you put this one on first okay as you can see there i've put this one on first the big 18 million first when you're refitting it tighten it on tighten it up a little bit not fully tight okay and then you go banging these on okay you'll need two hands to line it up and then you know put the uh, bolts on a bit of copper grease on the end of it Reverse order, let's finish it off, job done, let's go. Well that's it guys, job done on this side. I'm gonna, I've got that side left to do, but that's exactly the same, exactly the same, you can't really get it wrong. Uh, dead easy job. Right, if you've got the tools and everything, it's absolutely easy job. If you've got a hydraulic press, even if you haven't got a hydraulic press, you can buy it with the uh, aluminium casing, bang it straight on, saves you from... The uh, thing is, even if you buy a wishbone, I don't think you get the rear bush. You have to buy the bush separate. So what I would recommend is you do it that way, right? Happy days, job done, dead easy uh, job, saving you guys some money, Raul TV hooking you guys up. Uh, yeah, all I'm going to say is like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section i need a haircut right whatever hair i've got i need a haircut but there's no uh barbers open okay uh so uh i might just go for the full whack take it down lockdown lockdown haircut again 2.0 let's go anyway guys take care stay safe covid19 let's beat it let's go